few weeks ago, we told you how distressed individuals at the University of Mississippi went bananas over a banana peel, reading racial intimidation into an innocent incident that had nothing to do with race. Now the nonsense continues at two other schools. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. The president of Michigan State University, Lou Anna K. Simon, reported she, and these are her words, was distressed this morning to learn of a racial incident in one of our residence halls. A student reported a noose was hung outside of her room. I want to recognize the courage it took for the student to report this incident. Hmm, that's interesting. Congratulating a student who jumped to a conclusion and without checking anything out, implicitly blamed a race, presumably other than her own, for harassment. Shouldn't university students be learning critical thinking skills instead of relying on knee-jerk reactions? It wasn't long before President Simon released another statement. After investigating, MSU police have determined the object was a packaged leather shoelace and not a noose. The matching package shoelace was found outside of the residence hall. Officers located and spoke to the student who lost both of the shoelaces, which are packaged in a way that someone could perceive them to look similar to a noose. The shoelace was discovered on a stairwell door handle, apparently placed so the owner of the missing item could more easily find it. Meanwhile, nearly halfway across the country, Students are evacuated from Cristo Rey Jesuit High School in Baltimore. The fire department is called. A hazmat team arrives. Why? Because of an unexplained smell. Some students and teachers were coughing. Officials reported dozens were triaged right there on the scene. A few went to the hospital. Was this another terrorist threat? Can't be, because ISIS did not claim responsibility as it usually does. No, the truth is much less sinister. Baltimore fire spokesman Roman Clark reports the culprit was an air freshener. That, and I'm quoting here, basically puts out the odor every so many seconds. And it's a pumpkin spice. And that's exactly what, if you go in there, you can smell. So it has been identified. It's not hazardous at all. It makes you wonder if some of the medical problems may have been psychosomatic. I guess we'll never know. But anyway, Counselor Sylvia Dowd was available the next day for any students who just wanted to talk. You've got to be kidding. Some of these children are just a year or two away from joining the military. You can bet no sergeant is going to pat their hands, saying, now, now, it's okay, when they face an armed threat. What can we learn from these incidents? Educators are encouraging our children to be scared of their own shadows. One incident stirred up racial animosity. The other wasted fire department resources. It's time for all Americans to put away the fear, the victim mentality, and yes, the paranoia. Real emergencies do occur. Let's save the drama for them and stop crying out wolf over trivialities. I'm Steve Eastman for Wait till you hear this. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.